with that, you know, you talked about talked about the experience at the whiteout, you know, all, all the all the uh, all the all the pageantry. But um, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> but what do you what do you think about um, what do you think about the game? Obviously, it was a great performance, top to bottom on our side. But what do you think about the game? What do you think about the team so far? You know, four weeks in, it's still it's still a little early, but <clears throat> there's a lot of expectations and hype around this around around this squad right now. So give me give me your your diagnosis. You know, I mean, there's definitely some expectations. I mean, this is shoot, this is some of the hypest I've seen people around Penn State football and. Crazy. just the the level it could be and you know it's exciting as a former player to watch because you know you want to see that program elevate and you know I think you know coach Franklin's going to do a great job you know we all heard it want to know each week so you know I think you know when they have that mentality and just take it game by game I think they're on the right path and just overall I mean the defense I mean they look outstanding I mean they got guys flying around the ball turnovers you know, it's it's really impressive, you know. Um, and then offense, I've been so impressed by Drew Allard just coming in and just the poise he's shown, you know, obviously he's a high recruit, you know, everyone's anticipating him to, you know, be successful. But I think, you know, he's he's kept a level head and he's got the he's got the right mentality to keep uh keep going day by day and week by week and leading that team, you know, towards, you know, whatever the goal is and we all know that Big Ten championship and, you know, whatever's beyond. Yeah, we gotta get over that hump. Yeah, definitely got to get there. Is anyone uh, – well, besides Drew, you mentioned Drew. Who's stuck out to you on defense? Anyone? I, th- you guys? I think, you know, just being as a DB, I think Kalen King and Johnny Dixon, I've loved, you know, watching them play. You know, they're – yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, Coach Smith's my guy, so I got to give them a shout-out. You know, I think oh. he's been doing a great, great job just recruiting corners, developing corners, obviously. You know, we all know the impact he has on, on Penn State just, just from his, you know, career at Penn State. But as a coach, man, I just want to give him his flowers for that. And, you know, obviously on the linebacker side, I've been impressed by Abdul Carter. I mean, you know, those those guys that wear number 11 – they're special, man. <laughs> Let's. So I, I'll tell you what. Um, B B hasn't been able to not stop talking about the defensive backs and that secondary. Um, it's a point he brings up every show, and you you mentioned it a little bit, but I think that that room has always. I mean, really, since since even I was there, that's that's always been a deep room. We've always had talent. You were obviously yeah. a part of that, but specifically pertaining to this year. And the two obstacles that we got to get over, and you know, I'm, I'm stepping out of the one and zero mentality right now, <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm saying when you when you're going against the Ohio States of the world, and you're going against now Michigan and, and what they've grown into as a program, that defensive backfield, I personally feel, is going to be a major, major key, more so than any game up until this point, just due to the fact that uh, both of those programs have weapons outside and from a mismatch got to have it type of mentality and the way Manny calls games. I think that that's, that's going to be a pivotal point, some type of matchup, whether it's a third and eight or first and 10, they want to go after them. It's going to be a pivotal point in those types of games. Cause those games are won and lost by two or three plays. How do you think that that group's a tooled for that? And let's, let's maybe focus on Ohio state just because of the weapons that they have. And then um, B maybe give a little insight into coach smalls, uh, coach, coach, uh, uh, Terry Smith, <laughs> T. Smalls, and uh, what what his approach might be uh, heading into a week like Ohio State. You know, I think Coach Smith's just going to have them focused, ready, and just be aggressive. You know, I think that's what the the main goal is. Don't back down from any challenge. You know, you know, obviously they have a very talented receiver and Marvin Harrison Jr. But, you know, I think that's a that's a challenge and a chip on your shoulder to go out there and compete. And like you said, you know, the way, you know, Manny Diaz calls plays, you know, it's going to be a situation where we're going to need them to step up and make that big play. And so I think, you know, the way they've been handling their business right now, I think they're only gaining confidence going into Ohio State, going into games like Michigan where, you know, their back's going to be against the wall and they're going to have to show out and, you know, show who they are as as players because this is not just the opportunity to go against the top, you know, top five NFL draft pick next year. This is a time for them to make their name, you know, for people who don't know who they are. So I think it's – it's uh, Coach Smith's already putting it in their head mentally. It's just like you guys are – you guys realize what you're doing out there on the field. You guys are a great unit, a great group of guys. So don't don't just stray from a challenge. Go head on and, you know, go collide that challenge. 